All right, you guys, so here's the scoop. We're out off of Jupiter right now, and for, for several years while I was guiding, this was my favorite thing to do. I would come out here to one of my favorite spots and I would anchor up. This time of the year, there's a lot of king mackerel, so I always have a trace of wire on my flat line. Flat line means there's no weight and it's just sitting out on the surface. Now, a dolphin could eat this, sailfish, even a blackfin tuna, but probably a dolphin, sailfish, or kingfish are gonna eat it. So I'll leave that right here. Then this is my mutton rod. Now you can catch a mutton, a cobia, a grouper, anything on this, and it's gonna have a long leader, typically anywhere from 30 to 50 feet. And today I need about eight ounces to hold bottom. So we'll just chunk that right over there and let it go down to the bottom. My deep rod like that, I use a 40 pound leader with a four aught circle hook. Uh, my main line, this is like 80 pound braid. Let it go down to the bottom, push the drag forward, but right there, good to go. Good. Now you'll know when you get this one on because it'll just whoa, 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 and it'll start warping over and that's an indication you got a fish on. Now, the third rod is what I call a chicken rig. About five or six ounces of lead followed by two hooks. Some people call it a chicken rig, a guppy rig, a high-low, whatever. And all you do with this is drop it straight down to the bottom. This is the one that you're gonna get most of your bites on because it's really fast using little chunks of bait. Uh, you can catch snappers, sea bass, grunts, blue runners, jacks, just about anything. Here we go. There he is. Ah, just lost it. Good thing about having the guppy rig, the high-low rig, you got an extra bait. Just send it right back down. There he is. He stuck his hand in a cookie jar one too many times. Now I get to find out what he is. we have here trigger fish trigger fish now triggers have to be 12 inches long and if he's 12 inches long he's gonna get to meet the other side ha 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 13 ladies and gentlemen Meet the first fish we're gonna eat today. Trigger fish. It's a little bumpy out here. I've got PK Hulk Hulk, he's in the front of the boat. He's not feeling too well, y'all. So it's really fun sitting out here fishing like this because it's constant action. Like I'm always wondering what's going on with my big rod? What's going on with my flat line? And then every time this thing gets to the bottom, it's just getting pounded. If I see my bait, getting, my flat line getting all excited, I'll just drop him back a little bit. He's getting picked up right here. There he goes, he's just, he's got it. Got it. Do I have him still? I have no idea what I have, but I do have a fish. Oh, he just broke me off right there. Are you kidding me? See, that's what I'm talking about. You're out here, flat line, big bait, little bait. You're just getting worked. There, that's him right there. Oh yeah. Feels like another trigger, y'all. Ooh, he's pulling, man. Whoa. 
What we got? What we got? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great trigger fish. I'll take that. I will take that. All day, twice on Saturday. We're there. We're there. Legal. Great trigger, y'all. Beautiful, awesome eating fish. Now, all we need is Godzilla to get bit right there. I'm close, man, I'm close. That's not exactly the fishing trip he was looking for. All right, let me show you guys how to get an anchor up real quick. I've got a stainless steel ring around my anchor line and it's attached to that float. Now, as I drive forward, the line is going through the ring and that float will lift it right to the surface. Very easy way to get your anchor up. Then just keep some tension on it, pull it right in. Turn your wheel to the left. And now you're not pulling all the weight of the anchor all the way to the surface. have any more questions on things that I do out here leave them in the comments below I try to show you guys little tips and videos but I try not to preach over I just you know I just throw show you little things that I'm thinking along the way if you have any questions leave them in the comments below all right you guys we're back here at the dock and I'm about to tell you something last summer when we rebuilt this boat two things that I, I am so happy about. That motor and this sea deck. We were out there cutting bait earlier. And you see that blood? Watch this. That blood was there since I was cutting bait earlier. I guarantee if that was gel coat, it would still be sticking there. We're heading to the house, you guys. We're gonna clean these fish up and then cook them. All right, you guys, so we are out at camp and there's one of those trigger fish. And I am going to try to do something that my buddy Bernard did over in the Bahamas. But I know it's not as easy as it looks. And all he does is cuts up the top like that. Somewhere around there. And then he cuts down the bottom. Bernard, let me know how I'm doing here. I have no idea, but I'm going to try it. I mean... Okay, and then that goes like that, and then they will like pull this up this way and they reel it, come down. Come down like that. Yep, just like that. Over here. Hey, you know what? I, I honestly don't think I'm doing that bad of a job. Am I am I full on professional Bahamian style? Nope, not that good. But it's been about two years since I've seen him do it. So real question is, can PK cook? 
cook it. I want to see a good old Rota dish. There must have been a little bohemian trick that I missed, but I'm not far. I'm not far. He didn't use pliers? No, he never used pliers. He never used... And then basically come up here, go like that, and dig out all the guts. Just like that. Take this. Yeah, that wasn't smart at all. PK, do you think you can cook this thing, make it good? Oh yeah. There you go, y'all. A whole trigger fish ready to go. Catch, clean, and cook coming right at you. Hope you guys have enjoyed this because today has been a fun day. All right, y'all, here's the crew. There's Aria, there's Mama. Hi. Mouth of the South. Dad, it's so bright. It's so bright. <laughs> Say, come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. What I'm gonna do is make the base to base uh, put on the fish. So, mayo, kimchi base, Everglades. black pepper. that around. Now we grab a thin foil. So now I'm going to season it up a little bit on both sides. Alright, grab your garlic and onions that you chopped up. Toss it in the inside. Make sure you add some of that in there. What are we working with here, PK? Some good stuff, man. Yep. The real critic just walked up. Yeah. <laughs> he will be sure to tell you if you don't like it. And I'm gonna tell you this, when it's done, and it get, bam! What did you say? And it get bam. What's that mean? There it is. Bam. bam. <laughs> I bet you that trigger fish didn't know it was gonna be swimming in that sauce today. Well. Yeah, it did not have that. When it, when it started chewing on that guppy rig, it did not realize what was about to happen. It was biting it like now, crazy. Now, did you catch this trigger fish or did Robert catch it? Well. Green today when the hook stopped. <laughs> Funny. For those, some people can hack it. I'm not. I'm a troller. Not more no. of like a trolley type of guy. Yep. If that boat stops, I'm diving in the water, boy. Believe that. All right. And I'll grab the green onion. We really only have one fish to eat? No, 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 I got five of them. Let me get, bam. Now what we're gonna do is. Put it in the fire. Every tomorrow out there, I guarantee you. Mayo and kimchi base. Never go wrong with that. Yeah. Put that on the heat. So about five minutes, then turn it around and should be eating. Got some good veggies here to go with the uh, that's awesome fish you guys are cooking and some bacon. Gotta put bacon on everything. Ah, 
you know, they make utensils that really help for that. Yeah. It's a more style. Ladies and gentlemen, people from all over YouTube, it's Mouth of the South, Gay <laughs> Barrington, right there, in living color. Can we open it up yet? Yeah, man. What y'all don't know about him and my dad is for whatever reason, they are picky, like super picky. So if they like it, that means it's good. I know one thing, I tasted his sauce already and it tasted really good. Look at that. Look at the, it's just juicy. It is juicy. Mm -hmm. That's on time. Mm. This ain't like no cod you get from McDonald's or nothing. You can't get fish to taste any better than that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? It's on oh, point. God, it looks amazing. Eat that first and then put this on top. Mm. That sauce. PK, what'd you put in that sauce? Mayo. Uh, I certainly hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. If you do, please hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell so you get notified every time I upload, be a part of the family. But for tonight, that's all I got. Go check out one of the other videos. Here we go.